Hello there everybody and welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're looking at the five themes of geography while playing Minecraft. This video is going to go over everything you need to know about the five themes through the Minecraft perspective. Make sure while you're watching the video you're using the guided notes, you can find them in the description below, and stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be going over some practice quiz questions with you so that way you can make sure you understand everything you need to about the five themes of geography. So the first thing we have to understand about the five themes of geography is, well, just what is it? And the best way to do that is to remember Mr. Help. Mr. Help stands for Movement, Regions, Human Environment, Interaction, Location, and Place. If you can remember Mr. Help, you can remember the five themes of geography. The first part of Mr. Help is movement. You can see right now I'm moving in Minecraft as I go down this path. We could also get into a vehicle powered by redstone and be able to travel longer distances. These are great examples of movement. But movement is more than just physically moving from one location to another. See, there has to be an interaction that occurs. When people go to a different location or goods and services or ideas, there is interactions that impact that location. For example, right now, I'm trading with my friend Zach and I'm giving him goods and he's gonna give me this bow. This is movement. One, we might be talking on the mic right now, exchanging ideas and we're changing goods. So we have interactions that are occurring. So that's the big thing to remember about movement. If any of your friends say, ah, movement is just as simple as it sounds, it's just me walking from one place to another, politely tell them, No, God, please, no, no, no! No! The next part of Mr. Help is regions. And we can break regions down into a couple of different categories. We can see that formal regions exist in Minecraft when we're looking at the biomes. One region clearly starts when another ends. We can see we have a desert, or we have a mountainous region, or also we could have the ocean. We are also looking at grasslands, all these different things. It's very clear where they start and end. That'd be an example of a formal region. Or we could look at a functional region, which would be this village here that depends on this water source. Functional regions are centered around a node or a center point that people or the environment around them revolve around that area. Or even a perceptual region. When I'm walking through my city right now, am I at the north part, the south, the west, the east? Where am I? These things are all relative and they're up for discussion. They're not set in stone. If you need more information on regions, I have a video that covers just regions. Click the card on the top right to check that one out to get more information and some real life examples of different types of regions in the world. The next part of the five themes of geography is human environment interaction. This is a back and forth. Humans impact the environment through their day-to-day -day lives and the activities that they're doing. In return, then the environment responds. And then eventually we have to respond back. In Minecraft, you can see right here, I've strip mined this entire area, taking all the sand out. Now, this was used then to be able to build my buildings, areas of land that are no longer open, so animals can no longer go there. And at the same time, we could see this even when harvesting. Anytime we're gonna make anything in this game, we need to take resources from the environment to build. And then the game adapts around your house or your home or your base, whatever you have. I could also see this when I'm farming my melons to support my melon addiction and help me fight the ender dragon. I had to plant these melons, take care of them, make sure the system was set up, and then I need a place to store them. Next we have location. Location can get broken up into two categories, relative location and absolute location. Relative location is me just describing where I am. I can see right now I am by a castle with lava. I can see there's some blue buildings made of glass in the distance, a red one as well. There's some trees around me. I'm using descriptive words to be able to describe where I am. It's not a permanent location. These things could change or be altered over time. And it's all kind of up to my perception of where I am. I also have absolute location. You can see looking at a map right now, I have the X and Y coordinates. I could pinpoint exactly where I am. I might build a base there, I might destroy that area, but that exact coordinate position will still be the same. Last part of Mr. Help is the P, which is place. And we can break place down into two categories. I can break it down into physical characteristics and human characteristics. Physical characteristics, we're just describing the area, the place we're in, this location, and we're doing it of the things that make it unique. Talking about the roller coaster that I'm on right now, the climate, 
the environment around or other buildings that are there. We also have human characteristics, which when Minecraft, we would look at the villagers. What villagers are doing what professions? How many people are farmers? How many people are a blacksmith? What are our age ranges? What's the sex breakdown? All these things would show what's going on from the human side of a certain place. And it would give us this identity. We could also look, do they have any religious components? What is the religion breakdown? Are they growing or shrinking as a society? All these things would be human characteristics. And now you know the five themes of geography. But we're not done yet. We still have to apply what we just learned. You can see right now on the screen, I have some multiple choice questions popping up. What I want you to do is try to answer all these questions. Let me know in the comments below of what you think the answers are. I'll make sure to also post the answers down in the comments and I'll pin it so it's on the top. This will help you practice the information that we just learned. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really does help me out. And check out some of the other videos I have on human geography on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped. And until next time, geographers, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you online.